जय हिंद एवरीवन। आई कैडिट साक्षी गोयल एंड कैडिट अंकिता भंडारी विल इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू द फेस्टिवल एंड ट्रेडिशन ऑफ हिमाचल प्रदेश विच आर नोन नेशनली एंड इंटरनेशनली थ्रू दिस प्रेजेंटेशन Himachal Pradesh the Dev Bhumi hosts some amazing festivals and has a variety of enjoyable traditions let's have a look at some of them The Kullu Dashera is celebrated in the month of October every year The history of this spellbinding carnival dates back to the 17th century when the local king Jagat Singh installed an idol of Lord Raghunath on his throne on the advice of a Brahmin in order to eradicate his curse after taking it from lord rama's kingdom ayodhya after this the lord Ra- ragunath was declared as the ruling deity of the valley the celebrations are concluded with a bonfire that signifies the burning of lanka and the idol of lord ragunath is brought back to its original position through a green, grand procession Special highlights of the festival is that the Kullu Dashera is slightly different from the Dashera celebrated in the other parts of the country as no figurin of Ravan or Kumkaran is burned. Lozar is the New Year festival celebrated in the Lahaul district of Himachal Pradesh. It marks the beginning of the winter season in the valley and is celebrated during the first month of the Tibetan calendar falls between mid of November to first week of December. Dancers wearing colorful costumes and elaborated masks perform this mesmerizing devil dance to tell the tale of the death of the cruel Tibetan king Lang Dharma in the 9th century which signified the ultimate triumph of good over evil. The main highlight of the festival is that few days before the start of the Lozar festival the occasion of Khepa is observed. when small branches of thorny bush are fetched and kept on on the doors of the houses to protect them from the evil spirits the halda festival is celebrated in the month of january every year it is an occasion of joy and happiness when people come together from different parts of the state to celebrate the new year and wish for their prosperity the halda festival is dedicated to shiskar appa the goddess of wealth the main attraction of halda festival is the magnificent bonfire the main highlights of this festival is that it carries an uncanny resemblance to diwali the festival of lights and it is celebrated on the auspicious occasion of magha purnima sazu festival is celebrated annually in the month of january Sazu is an ancient festival celebrated in Kinnaur district of Himachal Pradesh. The locals believe that during this festival the divine go to heaven for a short period of time. In Kinnaur, the day of the festival is considered very sacred and auspicious. People take their bath in natural hot springs and some even go to Satluj river to cleanse their bodies and soul. The temple and houses of the region are properly cleaned. Main highlight of the festival is that on the occasion of Sazu festival the priests are deeply worshiped as they are considered as the representatives of gods they are also offered grains and other food item as a mark of respect the pure bond of love between a brother and a sister is one of the most genuine and the noblest of human emotions raksha bandhan or rakhi or rakhi dumni as called in himachal pradesh is a special occasion to celebrate this emotional bonding by tying a holy thread around the wrist of the brothers this thread which symbolizes sisterly love and inspirational sentiments is rightly called the rakhi it means a bond of protection and rakhi dumni signifies that the strong must protect the weak from all the evil of the world On the full moon day in the monsoon month of Bhadrapad, Rakhi Dumni festival is celebrated in Himachal Pradesh. Haryali festival is also known as Sheksum in Lahaul, Dakram in Dubal and Kinnaur. This festival is celebrated on the first Sawan. Few days before the festival, seeds of 5 to 7 kinds of grains are sown together in small basket full of earth by any member of the family near the place of household gods. 
stems are offered to the household gods and are also placed on the upper frame of the doors. Farmers do not yoke oxen on this day. Blood sucking insects like leaves, bugs, fleas, etc. are burned with cow dung balls. People in Kinnor district Garland village gods with wild flowers. Dancing and singing is common practice during this festival. One of the most popular festival of Himachal Pradesh is Dungri festival. It is marked to celebrate the beginning of spring on an auspicious occasion of Basant Panchmi. Celebrated with great fervor to observe the birthday of Hadimba Devi, the wife of Bhima. This vibrant festival is photographer's delight. It is also popularly known as Hadimba Devi Fair organized at Hadimba Temple, situated in sacred Dungri forest in Manali, and it lasts for three days. One of the most fascinating aspects of festival is that it is attended by people from different villages of Himachal Pradesh who are even colorful processions and parades carrying with them their gods and goddesses dressed in fancy silk and garlands in elegant carved wood chariots. Chet is the first month of the lunar year and also very first day of the month and it is celebrated with an idea to bring happiness and prosperity. The festival is known as Chatrali in Kullu and Dholru in Barmore area of Chamba district. In area Kangra, Hamirpur, Bilaspur, very first day of Chet month holds special importance. In Kangra, the festival is celebrated so as to drive away all that is bad and to assure the prosperity and happiness. Dholru, a special genre of songs are sung on this occasion. One of the most important festival of Himachal Pradesh is Chagra festival. It occurs in the month of September. It begins on the fourth day of September each year. The main attraction of the festival is the village god that is worshipped by the villagers. Each village has its own god whom they please via singing and dancing with full dedication and devotion. In regions of Shimla, Kinnor and Sirmore, people worship Mahasudevta. The Navratra Melas are organized on almost every part of the state. It's an occasion to meet relatives and friends. This festival is celebrated from the Vedic time. Its mention is also found in Puranas. During these days, the devotees from India and abroad visit different temples in Kangra, Una and Bilaspur districts of Himachal Pradesh to pay courtesy to Ma Durga. Thousands of devotees from all over India come every year to Durga temples in the state. Coming of village festival and the whole of Kinnor gets engulfed in a festive mood. This festival is celebrated on the 16th day of Hindu month of Bhadrapada the season for the flowering of wild flowers in the upper hilly areas. Locally, the Philaich festival is also called Ukyant festival or Ukyam festival. The letters U in Ukyant means flowers and Kyand means festival. Thus, it is also known as festival of flowers. One major reason to celebrate the Philaich festival is to honor the deceased. It is done so by offering them food like wine and rice. People also head to the Dhanga Spa family house for paying respect to their family members. With the passage of time, this festival has garnered quite a name for itself and so one can witness a huge amount of tourist gatherings who especially come to witness this incredible cultural spectacle. Navla festival is usually celebrated by Gaddis of Kangra, Chamba, Mandi and Kullu. This occasion is also marked as the thanksgiving ceremony to the Lord Shiva who is mostly worshipped in the times of misfortune and calamity. The devotional songs praising Lord Shiva is sung whole night during this festival. In spite of the fact there is no specific day of which Navla is praised, yet it is a yearly celebration that is devoted to Lord Shiva. An extravagant, colorful celebration of life and happiness, the Pori festival dedicated to the Lord Triloknath is a major festival of the Lahal Valley of Himachal Pradesh. 
the Pori festival allures and delight a large number of tourists every year, while the locals consider this festival a very sacred occasion. The beginning of the festival is marked by enchanting prayer ceremony in the holy premises of the Thriloknath temple, where the devotees pay their respects to the local deity and ask for his blessings. The most amazing feature of this grand procession is that it is headed by a horse without a rider as the locals believe that the horse is being ridden by the Lord himself. Sair festival is celebrated to mark the end of harvest season. Sair is a cultural festival that is observed in many parts of Himachal like Kullu, Solan, Mandi etc. This is a centuries old festival and sees celebration in the form of carnivals, beating of drums and blowing of trumpets. One of the major reasons to celebrate the Sair is to prepare for the harsh winters and also celebrate the return of God from the heavens. The major attraction of the Sair festival also include bullfights. Apart from this, the locals have oracle sessions wherein they ward off evil spirits for ensuring the prosperity of their respective families. Baisakhi is celebrated in the month of April. The villagers prepare food like poltu, halwa and kishid. The image of goddess is brought out of the temple and a fair is held in the santang. It is an occasion to get together and to dance and drink. This festival marks the end of winter season also. A lot of fairs are also organized in the state. The major fairs of this day are the Sui Mela in the Chamba and the Mahanog festival in the Mandi. Folk performances take place on this day. So these were some of the beautiful festivals of Himachal Pradesh. Now I will introduce you to the culture and traditions of the Dev Bhumi. Himachali food is an interesting mix of Punjabi and Tibetan cuisine. Lentil, rice, pulses, wheat bread and predominantly red meat constitute most of the food. There are many special and famous food cuisines of Himachal. Some of them are dham, which is prepared usually for celebrations, only using lentils and dairy products. Another delicious dish from Himachal is sidhu, which is a popular bread made out of wheat kneaded with yeast two hours before preparations, stuffed with various ingredients. A special fish called kulu trout has its own talk among locals and tourists. The Pahari paintings can be grouped into two groups, Jammu or Dogra school, the northern series, Kangra school, the southern series. The theme that were painted ranged from mythology to literature and brought new techniques to the fore. A typical Pahari painting would bring several figures into the canvas and they would all be full of movement. The costumes of each community in Himachal are different, be it the Hindu, Brahmins, the Rajputs and the tribal people like Gaddis, Kinnoris, Gujars, Pangavals and Laholis. Himachal Pradesh, one of the untouched pristine and one of the most popular states in India, has a diverse clothing. Some famous clothing items of Himachal includes Pashmina shawls and Pahadi caps. Himachali or Pahadi folk dances are performed to express joy and happiness among locals. Folk dances are performed for every possible occasion to celebrate the arrival of seasons, wedding, festival, fairs and birth of a child. There are innumerable folk dances in the heartland of Himachal Pradesh. Among all, Nat is the most popular which is qualified to be called as the folk dance of the state. Kiang, Bakyang, Janjar, Kheret. Ujag Jama are some other famous folk dances of Himachal Pradesh. Among handicrafts that come out of Himachal Pradesh state in India are carpet, leatherworks, shawls, metalware, woodwork and paintings. Weaving, carving, paintings is considered to be the part of the life of Himachalis. Himachal is well known for designing shawls especially in Kullu.